How's 2012 going for you so far? Well, if it's not going as well as you'd hoped, perk up. Our next guest may have exactly what you need. Clifton Anderson's here to tell us about his new book, A Year Wiser, 365 Inspirational Messages to Create a Phenomenal Year. Not just a good year, but a phenomenal year. Absolutely. That's encouraging. Yes. I'm yes. glad you're with us. That's right. I would like to have a phenomenal year. Yes, I think everyone would. All right, but, super. Uh, Clifton, uh, now is this your first book? Have you written some in the past? Th this is actually my very first book. I'm in the process of writing my second one, but this was the, the first one. There you are. And unfortunately, Clifton <laughs> ran off and left his book at That's home. That's right. <laughs> so I'm hoping maybe we've got something on the website that we can find. Oh, look there at that. Go. There's your book right there, A Year Wiser. Tell us all about it. Yeah, so it is a, a book that I wrote. And I decided my mentor, who is Les Brown, really a really well-known motivational speaker, told me to do every day change my voicemail, my voicemail greeting, uh, with a new quote, a new inspirational thought, and it would be a great way to learn material as a new speaker. And I was doing this, and what happened was people would call and they say, Clifton, I can't even remember why I... I called you. That message was so powerful and so compelling, and uh, if I think of it, I'll call you back. And then, of course, my mom would call, and I'd answer the phone, and I would, she would say, well, you know, I was kind of hoping to hear your message today. I'm like, Mom. <laughs> so we'd talk, and then I'd... I'd that's but, the only time that's ever happened in the history of mothers. That's right, exactly. They want to talk to you. They don't want to leave you a voice. Exactly. It's the flip and, and this time, yes. So she'd call back and, and listen and then leave me a nice message. But what I realized after doing that for a couple of months was that, you know, I was doing it initially for me, but it was actually more about the people and the reaction, and I realized I was on to something. So I decided to keep everything and start uh, keeping track. And before I knew it, I had 250 of these and decided to go ahead and finish and do another 100 or so to have 365 uh, to put in a volume. One for every day of the year. One for every day of the year. You can now, start any time of the year. Uh, now, do you, do you have them dated? If we get the book, do we have to flip ahead to, to, to May or April, or, or do we just pick it up and start, and there's day one? Yeah, it's day one whenever you start. And, uh, in fact, someone uh, just posted on my Facebook that they got the book recently. I was at a seminar in Maryland speaking, mm -hmm. and she bought a book. She just got it recently, and she said, I know I just got it, and I know I wasn't supposed to do this, but I decided to go back to January 1st and catch up you know, for the year. So some people, uh, she said it, it wasn't, I was trying to get ahead of myself, but I was really hungry for all this great uh, material that you have. So it was really exciting to hear that. She, she was extra inspired. That's right. There yes. we go. And speaking of inspiration, I'm, I'm a very unmotivated person. I'm very ambitionless. I could use some inspiration. Can you inspire me with something right now? Can you share one of these inspiring messages with me? Absolutely. I, I need something to make it through the rest of the show. I'll be okay. Honest with you. Awesome. <laughs> so one of my favorite quotes is by Muhammad Ali. And one thing that I believe in, in just meeting a lot of people, especially in the self-development and, and motivational uh, speaking space, is that you have a lot of people who are really amped up, and then you have some people who you like know, need a little extra. Right. Oh, but one thing that he said is, so no matter what circumstances you're facing or how difficult you might uh, find things, one thing that he said is impossible is just a big word thrown around by small minds who would rather accept the world they've been given than explore the power they have to change it. Impossible is not a fact, it's an opinion. Impossible is not a declaration, it's a dare. Impossible is potential, impossible is opportunity, impossible is temporary, impossible is nothing. Wow. Yeah. Muhammad Ali said that. Muhammad Ali said that. That had to have been early in his career. I think you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Clifton, we're out of time, but that is wonderful. I'm going to tell the folks at home how to get your book. Awesome. Uh, the book sign oh, actually, there's a book signing. We'll tell them that, too. The book signing is Thursday, April 3rd at the Tuscaloosa Public Library. You can meet Clifton, and he'll sign your book for you. It starts at 6 p.m. You can find out more about Clifton's book, how you can get a copy at, at, at his website. That's Clifton dash anderson not dot we say dot up there but it's clifton dash anderson dot com